Hello everybody, it's Apex Hunter. Once again, another FIA Nations Cup, Season 2, Round 5. Yeah, 5, sure, let's go with that. Group 3, at Brands Hatch, we're running the Porsche 911 RSR with a Martini livery. Beautiful, beautiful, so you know it wasn't done by me. Warming up now to take our first stab at glory and get a good qualifying position. I did a good bit of practice for this race. It's a difficult track because it, you just touch the grass or any bit of sand or anything and you will, the track, well, the track will bite you. And I personally, I'm not really used to a rear engine car like the 911, it's just a little bit different way of driving, you know. It, the traction was nice though, I have to say. Here we are though, at the end of the first lap, we're gonna set a 24-0 which is a little, you know, a little slow for my liking, to be honest. So we're going to come in and uh, hit every single wall that we can and fit on a new set of tires, get max grip, and take one more shot at it. Because every, you know, the tires wear out so fast in these races, you know, like times five or six usually, that, you know, after one lap, you've lost a lot of, a lot of grip. But we have another hot lap we're on now where we're going faster by a few tenths. Uh, we go through a ghost of, ghost of car there, we're pushing on and getting it, and we just, just get the grass there, unfortunately, and it burns our lap. And, well, you see here, I try to use something a little bit cunning. I only have time for one more lap, so I'm driving backwards now to spin it around and have a little bit more room to get the run. Uh, to try and salvage this next lap. I almost got disqualified for it, but it's alright. You know, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Now, uh, can we make something of this? With one lap to go, second lap on these tires. Just maybe, just maybe. The lap felt okay, still a mistake here and there. We don't go off track this time. With the clock ticking down to zero, we are going to set a 23.9. We go about half a tenth faster, but I don't think it improved our position. And uh, it ac actually didn't. So we end up starting P9. The 24.0 would have held. For fortunately or unfortunately, however you want to look at it. Back into the race. Time to go. And it is go, go, go indeed. Everybody's forming in single file nicely into turn one now. Very interesting corner, the way it just drops you downhill and you feel like you're going about 300 miles an hour. We make a late little half-hearted dive bomb in and we unfortunately make a little bit of contact with his right rear. It's just tight through that corner. I, I was responsible for the contact, but thankfully it didn't end his race. I did talk to him after after the race. You know, he he wasn't happy, rightly so. Yeah, moving on now on the back straight into piece P8, and we hold that through lap one. Still, still single file up until now, and people go absolutely everywhere. We go through there, parting the Red Sea in our red car, and we move up into P5. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, I almost hit the back of the the back of the group three beetle. Oh that oh that was very, very close stuff there. That could have ended our race just on just on itself. But we're able to, to carry on now. Still in P5 on lap three. Haven't lost too much time for the leader actually, even though he is starting to gap field a little bit. But you know P4, 3, and 2 aren't that far away. P4 defends hard in front of us, gives us a little bit of a squeeze, we got really nowhere to go, we go off track, we are off circuit. In P5, we get reset back on the track, but we're losing so many spots, and this is just so frustrating. Oh, I think I did break a little bit late, but at the same time, we did get squeezed really aggressively off track, and that just destroyed me mentally, I've got no, I've got no focus, the ghost car puts me off, I, I go in the grass, and that was just no excuse just absolutely dumb driving trying to push on and just 
ended up kicking, you know, it was like, you know, punching myself in the face. Uh, this is what it feels like I was doing. You know, like I'm driving against myself, you know, I'm my, I'm my worst enemy. So we're down to P19, second to last. And there's, oh, the only thing I can do is fight, fight, fight every single lap for everything I can get. We make a late dive bomb on the Brazilian Volkswagen driver. Nice and clean, really, really good clinical move. Still, uh, many cars to overtake in front of me. Let's see what we can get. Close now on the Mitsubishi. Oh, excuse the yawn, everybody. Excuse the yawn, it's been a day. But we move on, and we are very close to him, but no real place to pass there. It's a very difficult track to pass, and I take too much curb, and once again, I'm off the track. I just, I've lost all confidence, you know. I, I you know, I, I can't make, you know, I can't, can't make any excuses to the people I'm driving. That's just me, not me not being consistent and pushing hard to try and keep up with these, you know, S-class you know, star player drivers. And you're seeing the the results of my inexperience in sim racing. This, you know, races like this are huge, huge learning opportunities, things to build off of. As the Porsche spins in front of us, just enough room, thankfully, to go to the left side of them and take uh, P18 now. FT King goes wide in front of us. We're closing up on him. Can we make a lunge? Not really. A ghost car. A little bit in the way there. Able to get in front of him. Into 17th. Oh, we get ever so close to the back of FT King. He's, he gets a bad run. We go to the inside. Can we make this stick? Just... About maybe we have to leave a little room on the outside. Car spins in front of us. We t we were back into 15th. Oh, it's been an exciting race, mostly caused by me. Unfortunately, we have to defend to the inside now. We've got FT King on the outside of us. We we squeeze him out there, and we hold our position. Just about a, this will about a lap and a half to go now until the pit stops, and you will see in a minute. Yep, there it is. I've only got a lot of fuel remaining, so I have to start doing a little bit of cheeky fuel saving to get me to the end of lap 9, because there's no way I could do 10 laps on a, on a tank of fuel. I would, I'd have to be in lean, you know, for half, half, the red, half the stint. There's no way it could happen. Some people pitting early trying to get the undercut. We hold, we hold position over FT King. Very good driver, it must be said. Very consistent. He m must have made a mistake or something because he does not belong back in the s back in the uh, the back markers like myself. <laughs> we come in for our service. New set of tires. Full, full tank of fuel. We're gonna need every single drop. And, you know, while we're in this break, if you guys don't know, I'm running the Thrustmaster T300RS Alcantara Edition with T3PA Pro Pedals. And, not in this race, but I do have the TH88 shifter for manual cars. I'll be using that in the KTM race next week, you'll see that. But, right now, with the paddles, with our, with our normal uh, GT setup, we're on the second stint. We, unfortunately, got beat in the pits by FT King. He must have, uh, he must have used must be fueling with less less amount of fuel, excuse me. I cannot even talk today, I'm so sorry. It took us a few laps to catch back up, but he's hung up on the McLaren. We go off we go off track a little bit run wide, but it didn't cost us too much time. Look, might cost us a position. We're side by side with AMS Oasis. Beautiful Porsche livery, another one must be said. There about half the field is 911s today. It's a very popular car choice for this track, given the traction that it offers. We go a little bit wide, make a spin. Beautiful recovery, it must be said. I just slammed it into gear. That's where the, I actually grabbed the THAA shifter, put it into a low gear, and floored the throttle. And I know it cost us a lot of, a few times second-wise, but if we had just ended up backwards and stalled on the track, you know, we would have finished last, basically, at this point. And, wouldn't have been any, even any point continuing. 
But I don't quit. I'm Apex on a GT on the YouTube channel. I don't quit. And so we have been able to catch back up to this pack of three cars. They've been fighting hard. That's allowed me to get right back onto the gearbox of AMS Oasis. We missed the Apex there in turn one. He's got a better up the hill. We're going to make a very, very late dive bomb. He leaves us the room, fair play, just enough. Who's got the better traction? And my fellow American seems to have the better grip out of there. He goes off on, on the grass a little bit. Do we make a look? No, nothing really happening there. We try to focus on the exit. Down the back straight. Single file, everybody drafting. The Porsche pulls out to side by side with McLaren. We're gonna be opportunistic and make a lunge on the inside. And we, can we make a stick? Just sideways, just about. He's looking to the inside a little bit, but no, uh, you're not gonna make a pass there. Just no way. Back up into 15th. This is about the hardest fight I've ever had for 15th place. It's <laughs> a little bit ironic considering earlier I was fighting for 5th, maybe even 4th or 3rd, but that's the way it goes now. That's, uh, that's how racing is. Two laps to go now. Can we get in a better position? Uh, just our pace isn't too good. You know, obviously we're, you know, we're 45 seconds off the leader. And we, oh, just we're making so many mistakes with these tires that they're so, so worn out. We cut now into the final lap of the Grand Prix. We're still all over the back of AMS Oasis. We've got just enough fuel to make it to the end. We're still having to play with the fuel mixture a little bit, compromising our ultimate pace. Excuse, second yawn. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, we're gonna deal with it. I'm gonna leave it in for the memes. Sideways, out of turn number, whatever it is. I'm not smart enough to count them. All over the back of AMS. Playing with a fuel mixture just to give us a little bit. A few more drops at the end of the race. We go, we put four wheels off briefly, gather it back up. Sideways now. And we we do get a penalty for track extending, even though it cost me time. Thanks, Grand Turismo Sport. Appreciate it. Now, I think that just might resign our fate, although he does, our opponent does have a penalty that, depending on the size of it, we might, we might be opportunists to be able to take it on the line. Only one way to find out, though. One corner to go. We negotiate it. We're on track. And now we lift serve our penalty do we take it on the line yes we do we get 14th place my voice isn't excited as you can tell because it's 14th place there's many many more positions we could have had if we didn't make all of those mistakes but that's how it is it's time to learn it's time to get better if you did enjoy it hit the like hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new comment below what you think make fun of my driving i don't care as always I'm Apex Hunter, GT. I'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.